In this presentation, we will explore how to design better places that people and cars can share. We'll do this by looking at why we feel at ease in some places and not in others. We'll also discuss basic design principles, including scale, mass, setback, and streetscape. We will examine the difference between pedestrian and auto scale development and review some options for designing more inviting places. We'll start by going on a trip. Let's go someplace. Now let's go someplace else. Which place is more appealing to visit? Which place feels more welcoming to spend your time and money? Which place would you rather preserve for your children and grandchildren? Would you be surprised if you found out that all these places are in the same city of Shelby, North Carolina, about one mile apart from each other? There are cities and towns all over the country that seem completely different depending on where you are in the community. We're going to spend some time analyzing why this is and what gives a community identity unique from all others. In other words, what makes a community someplace instead of any place? We'll start by talking about where we feel comfortable in our surroundings and then look at a few design principles. We'll discuss the architectural characteristics of buildings and then move to how buildings are placed on streets. We'll look at how streets and other public spaces are built and landscaped. And what we can do to create better places, places that encourage us to linger and enjoy them, rather than hurry through. Let's begin by thinking about where we feel comfortable in our surroundings. Why do we prefer some areas while we shun others? In other words, where do we feel most at ease and why? Prospect and refuge is a theory that explains deep-seated human environmental preferences proposed by British geographer Jay Appleton in his book, The Experience of Landscape. The theory is based on the idea that we instinctively prefer places that allow us to clearly observe our surroundings, or prospect, while at the same time give us partial concealment and protection, as well as an opportunity to withdraw, if needed, to find refuge. Does this seem like an appealing place to sit and relax? We have a view into the space around the fountains, prospect and we can see that there are places to walk elsewhere for refuge, if we want it. For tens of thousands of years, human beings have picked out one spot over another as an advantage for hunting and protection from enemies and predators. In the book Creating Vibrant Public Spaces, author Ned Crankshaw discusses how the theory of prospect and refuge applies to urban environments today. He states, most people aren't consciously thinking of hiding, fighting, or running. We think a place looks better, more comfortable, or more inviting. In other words, we naturally feel more comfortable sitting along the edge of a space and walking along streets that have windows and doors. Crankshaw states that a street wall that has alcoves, doorways, windows, and window displays contributes to the sense that we are not isolated in the clearing of the street, but rather are connected with the space of the buildings. In other words, we have a feeling of refuge. Imagine yourself walking along these buildings. Would you feel comfortable here? What about here? Crankshaw states that monolithic buildings without openings for windows and doors does not create a sense of refuge, and as a result, give us the uncomfortable feeling of complete exposure, as if we were isolated on a stage. Which side of the street would you rather walk on? This side? Or this one? Can you picture yourself sitting on this bench and feeling at ease in your surroundings? To feel comfortable in our environment, we need to have a balanced combination of both prospect and refuge. 